Hey y'all, out here at uh, Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and he has got uh, Alloway's 67 Camaro out here, and the interior's done. So, um, I wanted to do a video kind of bring you up to speed where it's at, and uh, let Steve tell us a little bit about the interior you're put in, but the good news is, is it's going back to Alloway's, and uh, hopefully in the near future we'll be able to see the car run, take a ride in, and all that. But anyways, let me run Steve down and have him tell us a little bit about the interior you're put in it. Steve, how are you, brother? I'm doing good, Scotty. How you doing? Not too bad. Let me tell you about this hot tell rod. Me about Usually, hot rod. you tell me, but this one I've been waiting so long, I can tell you. This is Alloway 67 autocross car, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been in production for a while, and thank goodness it's here because that's a sign that it's getting close. Now, tell me what you did for the interior. I just got a set of buck, uh, Recaro bucket seats that we completely redone and, you know, Took the headrest off them. Did Took they have the headrest? headrest off. It did, yeah. yeah. It had a headrest on it. No, oh, that's sweet. And the 67 sort of have it at a little bit of design like this. Right. So we put a, um, this is a um, mesh looking, or not, I can't even remember the name of it. Brushed. Man. Brushed, yeah. Right. It's a brushed aluminum type of. Yeah, match of, all the outside right, of it right. and everything. To trim it out. Yeah, made a back seat. Of course, it's all tubbed and everything, so we try to fit everything. Weird. You do, man. I mean, we know you do a great job, but when you do these back seats on tub cars, that just blows my mind. Yeah, there's no room back no. there for, for any room. Well, and for the longest time, everybody just, just covered the tubs and right. tried to make it molded the best Put they could. Put some carpet on right, it. Right. Like crap. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, when you really pay attention to it, you can see the shortness of the seat bottom. But mm. if you just walked up and looked at it, you wouldn't think twice about that. No, no, I, I like it. that, man. Same thing, you build all the package tray and went around the roll bars, and, you know, put some custom speaker grills in it. All right. It's almost like a factory looking interior, but updated. Oh man, I love those gauges. That's not the steering wheel. Before everybody goes off talking about the steering wheel, that's not the one that's, that's going to be on. That's one of those high dollar steering wheels right there. Yeah, that's an, that's a Alloway. <laughs> yeah, that's an Alloway only steering. That thing's probably been around the shop about 35 years. So yeah, exactly. I've been on 500 cars. So anyways, they'll get that steering wheel. It, mm -hmm. It's going back to Alloways. It's got to be tweaked, and we'll see it when it's finished. I just wanted to get out here and take a look at this interior, and because they hadn't put the glass in yet, giving Steve as much room as they could, it's going to give us just an opportunity just to uh, look at it in a little different angle. I like how you put the interior lights back here, too. That's kind of stock, isn't it? Yeah, yeah all that stock. Yeah. Working. And uh, yeah, put a stock headliner in it because it had a roll bar that goes all the way up to the headliner. There's really no room to do anything else. But the trunk, we really uh, fixed it up. He's right. got. We made a subfloor for it, so you can actually pull this floor out. Oh, and you put grabs on it, too. I like that. And you can put stuff underneath it. Right. And then back here, you can pull this one out. And he's got his radio and battery and all, all that right. stuff back here. Easy enough to get at. Mm-hmm. I like how you put the brushes in there, too. That's very uh, yeah, it hides factory all the, looking. Yeah, hides all that stuff. Makes yeah. it clean, it nice does. and neat. Professional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks almost factory. And then he's used the uh, brushed aluminum finish on all the trim. It looks like almost that this part here is even that. Right, yeah. He, he brushed aluminum about everything on here. Man, I like this car. I am so excited about this car. And I know Alloways will be glad to get the thing built and get me to quit coming in there going, how's the Camaro? How's the Camaro? Where's the Camaro? That's all I ask about. One thing we did do a little different on the console, we go, you can probably see it a little better from the other side. But we, uh, yeah, you look inside there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. He's got his radio remote and everything right here, so when it's closed, it's all looking hidden. Right. But he's still got the, a late model stereo and stuff in it. He's got the block off plate for the radio, so it don't even look like it has a radio period in right. it. Right. Like a radio delete car or something. Yeah. Well, what are these things down here? Originally, the seat belts buckled into this. No kidding. To keep them from flying around. Oh, I, I got you, yeah. yeah. Will that still work? Does it yeah, have well. seat belts? Yeah, yeah, we cut the holes out. He's going to oh, get the seat okay. for it. said he's going to put them in. And then these door panels, you covered them, but they were already... Actually, they... door panels are just stock. Right. That's what he wanted, is a stock door panel. Everything else is covered on the inside. Yeah. Kick panels are made and covered. All these back panels right here beside the seat. We actually handmade all of this stuff right here and all of this because the factory with the tubs just didn't fit, and it was easier just to make it all. Man, I like that headliner, too. That's just like a stock headliner. Yep. Yeah, same material and everything. Man. So this car could have come from the factory to looking just like that, you know, with updated seats and stuff. Right, right. Oh, you rocked that, man. That's perfect. You just got, you just have that ability, Steve, where you can just make them fit. You can take an idea and make it cool, make it look like it's exactly what it was supposed to have. I like the designs in the seats. Yeah, we put just a little bit of brush in it because it's got the brush. Right. 
everything on this brush, brush bumpers, right. tail lights, and all that. So the wheels. So it just brought the interior and exterior together. Sure did. Now oh, that's beautiful, brother. Man, I can't wait for this is done. Steve, as always, I appreciate you letting me come Thank out you, here. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, brother. Folks, there you go, 67 Camaro Alloway's uh, autocross car from Pro Auto Custom Interiors. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.